Hello guys, my name is Edwin and welcome to Gioso. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to do your external radio setup. So this is basically everything we need. Uh, in here we have a receiver. This is our radio device. This is our tri-back spindle, the receiver, the base, the cords that we'll be needing to do our connection. This is the uh, battery to radio cord and this is the data link cord. This one connects the radio to the receiver and this connects the battery to the radio. So, uh, this is our external battery for our radio and in here we have our... This is our external radio kits. This is our two meter pole and of course two tripod stands. So let's get the process started. Okay guys, so we finished setting up our external radio and as you can see, we are all done. This is the cable connecting to the antenna. This one is to the base, why this one is to the power source. So what we'll do is to set up the connections for the base and the rover. So the first thing we'll be doing is to connect our base receiver to the controller so that we can set up the base control so we we'll click on connect device connected base so we are connected to the base receiver and 
for the setup we'll go to the device page and click on the days now we are using external radio on fixed mode because we have the coordinate of the base station so if i venture you don't have the coordinate of the base station you can use the external radio on auto base but for the fixed mode we are using the fixed mode so we'll click on that and click on apply so we are not making use of the last coordinate point so because we want to impute the coordinate of this point so we'll click on cancel that will bring us to the page where we we'll impute the data of the coordinate point so the name of our coordinate points for this exercise is test one and the easter coordinate is 5656.2 7.545 and for the nothing coordinate it is 71479.824 then the height is 5.91 three one three so we've done that uh, for the height of our instrument from this point to the point of the control is 1.652 we measured with this uh, tape so and that was the value we got so we just add that to it and we'll click on okay so it's checking this station now and as you can see we are good to go so we we'll click on okay device disconnected and automatically the base is disconnected from the controller so now we can connect to our receiver our rover receiver rover receiver is connected so we are connected to our rover and we'll be making use of our whip antennas so in setting up the rover we'll go select the rover click on external radio rover radio mode the rover is always on radio mode so we'll click on rover radio mode and we'll click on apply Next. so we are all set our devices are connected our base is working perfectly the rover is connected and is on fix so that is how to set up and connect your GNSS receiver using external radio mode so thank you guys very much for staying with us do hope to see you another time and make sure you follow all our social media platforms like share comment and also subscribe for more videos thank you and have a nice day see you another time